That's what we do. It's a, you know we go. Out, it's time and material. That's what old school companies. That's old do. school. Okay, mm-hmm. it's the difference between being professional. All right, which is making the customer feel comfortable, and a hack. Yep. Okay, which is well, this is just what we do. Mm-hmm. All right, my Not, customer wants time and material. No, they don't. No, they don't. There's no place to start. <laughs> they uh, think they might, but right. they really don't. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 428th episode of Potty Talk here. And um, hey, we're going to discover that the world is flat. Okay. Okay. What do you mean by that? A flat rate pricing world, oh, that is. So we're going to talk All about right. flat rate pricing. Flat rate pricing. Okay. All right. Why flat rate pricing? The benefits of flat rate flat rate pricing, mm-hmm. and why our customers prefer flat rate pricing. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. But it's good to have you here in this episode. Hey, everything that we go over here, if you're looking to take your home service business to the next level, all right, whether it's you're just starting out, okay, so you're taking to the starting level, mm-hmm. or you're just ready to actually start making money with your home service business, hey, you need to check out the Success Academy, all right? Everything's in there teaching the business of home service, Okay, simply go to the million, or rather, Million Dollar Pro. Million right. Dollar Pro. Right, right. We mm-hmm. have the new website, Million Dollar Pro, <laughs> mm-hmm. all right, dot com forward slash success. And you can learn more about the Success Academy, Absolutely. all right, for you and your home service business. So mm-hmm. there we go. Okay. All right. It's a flat rate pricing world. Okay. So why is it? What do we mean by that? Well, let's get into it, all right? Okay. Why flat rate pricing? Okay. Number one, all right, first off here. It's a secure experience. Okay. Okay. It's a secure experience for the customer. Okay. The customer is in control. Okay. When the customer calls our home service business, look, Mm -hmm. you know, in our case, you know, our our business with plumbing. plumbing. Right. right? No one, you've heard us say this for years, Mm -hmm. no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. By the way, for your HVAC guys, no one wants to call you either, okay? <laughs> they you, do so, not want their furnace okay. to be out. Or right, or your AC. sparkies, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, the power is all, they, they don't want to be calling us, okay. okay, no matter what, all right? So they're un, they're uncomfortable, okay? And it's also a situation where they feel like they're they're out of control, right? okay? Mm-hmm. And because they know they're going to have to get something done, all right, and spend money. Spend money, they um, don't want to spend money. Exactly. Um, so we want to put them in the, in the best possible situation of being in control of the pricing, mm-hmm. okay? So this whole time and material thing just kind of freaks it freaks the customer out. Sure. It, it, it's not the normal experience. Mm-hmm. You know, you go to, you know, I like, um, you know, we've bought a lot of cars mm-hmm. and we can do, you know, and quite frankly, a lot of our cars that, w- that we purchase coming through, you know, through the for, years. For our kids. And even for our kids. <laughs> Especially right, for our kids. For our kids, mm-hmm. right, with, with CarMax. Mm-hmm. You know, and what I loved about the, the CarMax experience is it was flat rate pricing. Right. There was no haggling. Because that's one of the things you hate about going to a car dealership. It's like, man, I'm going to have to haggle here. And I yeah. know the price on here isn't what it really is. And I know he's going to have to go talk to his manager. manager. And, and we go through blah, that. Blah, blah, blah. Right. And all that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. it's like, it's like, why don't you just give me the price? Just, yeah. Get, get, get to the price. Okay. <laughs> the and I can line. decide whether I want to. You know, I value that, you right. know, because uh, really what this all this is, is a value exchange. Mm-hmm. Even with, even with our, our service, it's just a value exchange. Right. Okay. We, we solve their problem and they give us, you know, paper with, you know, dead old men on it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's getting to be <laughs> le- um, worth less and less <laughs> yes, these days. Right. Okay. I so, <laughs> so it just, it makes it, you know, with having just that, you know, we bought the car well, for our kids. Yeah, CarMax, yeah. Right. It's. Mm-hmm. Here's the price, there okay? And I want to spend that much for the kids uh, for this car. Mm-hmm. It's straightforward. Right. And, and isn't that the... You know, and then there was add-ons, right? So you well, can add on a warranty or whatever. But right, had, but then you got to, to pick, right? right? But the price was the price. The price was the price. Mm-hmm. And isn't it what we experience, you know, anyways, you know, like when we go to Walmart. But sure. it's, you know, we pay, well, you know, for the TV or whatever. It, it is what it is, right. okay? And so it, it provides a secure... You know, experience mm-hmm. for the customer. Yeah, they're just used to it. By being, you know, flat rate pricing. Right. Okay. Anywhere you go is flat rate pricing. Right. Anywhere. Okay. So and your favorite is Taco Bell. But. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I go to Taco Bell. Yeah. When I go to Taco Bell and I order my bean burrito, you know, minus onions, extra add cheese, cheese, add, add sour, sour cream. cream. Okay. They don't break it down for me. I don't ask for a breakdown. Okay. <laughs> For how that, much, how much for time and material? Stuff. How much that tablespoon of? Hey, I'm not paying cream. for the onions. There's normally onions in it, so you give me a discount for that. You're taking <laughs> off the onions, okay? And then I'm adding on how much for the sour cream? You're adding what? 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 Okay. <laughs> and then how much hourly? Three hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> By the way, 
I did a time study for Taco okay. Bell. That's so true. It's over three hundred. They're charging over three hundred dollars an hour to make your bean burrito. I don't make three hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> that's what you know. You ever hear that? Right. See, that's that's mm -hmm. when you get into time material. That mm -hmm. that you invite yourself into all those uncomfortable conversations. Right. When when you just have the price laid out. When they say it's you know five sixty five or whatever for my my bean burrito mm -hmm. or all that. You know, I okay. <laughs> so you know that like, <laughs> right, 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 off the right, top right. of your head. That yes, <laughs> that, that is my drug of five, choice. Five, Taco Bell 65. is my drug of choice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it's a secure experience. Okay, it's, it's just a quick. Oh, right, here's the price. I know. Okay, I, do I value that? Right. It is a value exchange there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not worried about about the, the next thing. Mm -hmm. Is point number two? Yes. Okay. Okay. That it's a fair experience. Okay. Okay. Because I'm not paying more. Mm. I'm not, I don't worry about paying more. Mm. Like, you know, for the Taco Bell example, you know, if, if someone just takes longer to, you know, that time study, you right. know, $300 an hour is by just, they're, they're just, you know, the well, average or whatever it takes. They add on. Right. They got to add on the extra cheese. They and they're going to charge me for that. They're going to charge me for that. And, 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 if, and if they don't have the cheese in the bin and I'm Ooh. now seeing the, the, you know, the gal going back to the fridge, you know, and she disappears for 30 minutes. <laughs> Like what? Because you had a bathroom break and a smoke break and everything else, and now it gets the cheese in there. So I pay for that time. Yeah, and that's that's, that's the concern fair. with time and material, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what your customer is thinking <laughs> when you're charging time and material. Mm -hmm. They're monitoring the amount of time you go out to the truck, mm -hmm. and when you say, "Hey, I got to go to the supply house to get get something," it's uh -huh. like, "What? Oh. Well, how long is that going to take? <laughs> how far away? Well, is how far that? away? Right? Yeah. <laughs> they may not ask you that directly, but that's what they're that's thinking." What they're thinking. Okay. And if you stop and, you know, get gas or get, you know, something, you know, something to eat or whatever, right? right. And you're gone longer. I mean, they're going to, when you get back, the customer's going to be looking at their watch going, uh, how long were you gone? And how much is that going to cost me? Exactly. And that's what you're putting your customer through when you're charging time and material. Mm -hmm. You know what? I can hear Well, I got to charge time. That's what we do. That's what we do. It's, a, you know, we go, it's time and material. That's and what old school companies that's do. That's old school. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the difference between being professional all right, which is making the customer feel comfortable mm -hmm. and a hack. Yep. Okay, which is well, this is just what we do. Mm -hmm. All right. My Not, customer wants time and material. No, they don't. No, they don't. There's no place there's time. <laughs> they uh, think they might, but right. they really don't. Right. So they don't. They don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you because all you're gonna do is get all you're gonna do is get a customer. If you put time and material, all they're gonna do is drill you on how much an hour and all, what this part. I could have gotten this part that you listed out. You know the. 14 different parts that you use to fix whatever. Well, I could, I, that's, I know I can get that cheaper online. Right. Right. That's what you're going to deal with. So, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because all this is leading up to when your time and material is you're, you're making it all about the money. You're putting the customer, the customer's not in control because now they got to monitor you and they got to manage you. Mm -hmm. And it will come down to micromanaging, you know, they're in our case, you know, in the plumbing, you know, it's, they're not plumbers, but you, <laughs> But believe me, when your time material, that, that person who's not a plumber now knows how long it should take to do this simple job. Okay, all right? Well, that's what I always love when I, we, I used to answer the phones in our plumbing business. Someone would call and say, okay, I've got a really simple job, a really easy job. Should take him only five, uh, maybe 15 minutes to come out and blah. I loved those. <laughs> right, like, right. Based on your vast knowledge of what. what? <laughs> right. And when your time material, that's exactly what you're setting up. Okay, that's exactly what, how you're setting yourself up for those, those kinds of, uh, you know, conversations mm -hmm. and, you know, uncomfortable, uncomfortable conversations. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. but with, with flat rate, it's, it's, you've gone from where, where it's about the money to where it's about the experience, mm -hmm. a value exchange, mm -hmm. it's a true value exchange. Okay? And they know, and they just can relax then. And right. you're presenting it up front, right? You're presenting flat rate prices up front front before you do any work get the right. approval and then the customer can relax while you're there so they approve whatever work needs to be done they know what the cost is going to be they can now relax and let you go off and you know do it whatever needs to be done they're not then kind of worrying about okay well how long is it going to be or whatever it's just okay well this is what it is okay well now i know i made the decision i said yes to this now they you know i'm fine right okay now they may not love it because <laughs> again no one wants to spend money but right right because no one no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber mm -hmm. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call HVAC tech, okay? Mm -hmm. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call an electrician. 
All right. No one. Okay. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to deal with the garage door. Right. Okay. That, that won't open uh, now. Okay. What, what we've you experienced that right. a couple times. Okay. No one wants to do that, which also leads to no one wants to spend money on that. So we got to get over ourselves this idea of, well, they want to have a breakdown, price breakdown, and it's all about the money. And they're asking me how much it costs. You got to get over yourself because no one wants to spend money on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. What they do spend money on is the value of having the garage door open again. Yes. Okay. Having hot mm-hmm. water again. Yes. All right. Having cool air again mm-hmm. or heat. All right. <laughs> Depending when it's, on right, time when of it, year and where right, you when live. It's 10 degrees, right? You know, and it's like, there's no heat. All mm-hmm. right. I'm, I'm paying, there's a value exchange there. Paying right. for that. Okay. Having, mm-hmm. having the lights on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's face it. Home service companies are a dime a dozen. And Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. Now it may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. That's why there's kick charge industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency who has been instrumental in getting home service providers noticed for over 20 years and right now kick charge is offering a 500 dollars rebate to all potty talk listeners to get more information go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash kick charge start getting noticed today um that that's what they that's what they pay for that's the value Mm -hmm. okay and the customers that just absolutely 100 percent demand that you give a breakdown right that you know you you give them the flat rate price and whatever and they're like well i need a breakdown and whatever and you explain to them the reasons why you're you know you provide flat rate but you've got a customer that absolutely wants it they're not your customer right they're just not your customer but there's someone that their 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 bottom line is dollars what is this costing me they're they don't care they don't care about the experience and there's going to be customers like that there just is right. they're not your customer move right. on move on right. to the ones that are your they're customer. looking for the hacks not yes. the pros their right. their concern is not having the best you know the best service mm-hmm. okay the best products experience the, the best the best backing okay yes the best, they're not they're not in the best in their home they're not mm-hmm. concerned with that no Okay. They, they want the hacks. They want, I just, I just, I just want a bandaid. I just want this done. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I don't, you know, not everyone's your customer, right? That's what you also have to get over, especially being brand new, right? Not everyone is your customer and it's okay. It's your plumbing business. You can decide who you work for, or who you don't work for. Right. Right. As opposed to when you were a plumber or a tech or whatever at another company, um, and you had to go out on certain jobs, this is your company. You, you decide if someone's just a pain in the butt for whatever reason, whether it's regarding pricing or schedule, or it doesn't matter what it is. Move on. They're right. not your customer. The bottom line, a comfortable, a comfortable customer is a buying customer. Right. So flat rate pricing makes the customer, most customers overall, and it's a numbers game, okay? You know, mm-hmm. it makes most customers feel comfortable, yeah. okay? Because that's the world we live in. We live in a flat rate pricing world, mm-hmm. period. The world is? Flat, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, you don't. Christopher Columbus didn't know anything. That guy's full of <laughs> crap. Right. <laughs> All right. Hey, speaking of value, okay, I have, I have something uh, very valuable for you here. Check it out. Hey, every professional tradesman knows you wouldn't build a house without a blueprint, right? So why are you trying to build your home service business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Pro Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable home service business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab the Million Dollar Pro Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash free and start building success. All right. Hey, welcome back. We're talking flat rate pricing. We are flat rate pricing okay. um, about why we are a flat rate world and why you as a home service business should be a flat rate company, right? Um, but I want to say right now, if you guys are watching on YouTube, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you never miss an episode when Potty Talk gets dropped once a week. Um, you always want to get notified. Also, if you're listening to you um, on your favorite podcast player, um, give us a review. You guys all know the review game. You know how it works. Yeah, come we, on. Need, we need reviews too. So Share, share the love. So Help us, us get the word out. Yeah, give us a review. If you love us, give us a review. If you hate us, I'll keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> right. right, move on. <laughs> right. So anyway, right. all right, so you've got point number three in why we should. By the way, on, on that, I want to hit that just, okay. just on a pro note here. Okay. I, I can't help it. The coach right. is coming out on me. <laughs> Anyone who's successful doesn't have anything negative to say. Just move on. They just move on. Mm-hmm. Successful. That's why I kind of joke about just don't say anything. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're a hack, you're going to say something. Mm-hmm. And I can say this because I come from the trenches. I'm a, I've am been in the trades for over 40 years. You know, I'm a trades guy. I'm, a, I'm just a redneck. Okay, I cleaned you up. You've cleaned me up. Okay, so mm-hmm. 
and uh, you've you've kind of civilized me. Civilized. You. Okay. It was not easy. All right. <laughs> but it's and so I so I say this because I know the guys. You know, so for you guys that just got to say you know make some comment. Well, it ain't a problem. You got to go with time and terror. Mm -hmm. Keep it. You know, I know you're not successful. So when you do that, you just reveal that you're a hack. <laughs> okay, and that you're you're probably still living in your mom's basement with a mask on. Okay, <laughs> sitting in your underwear. All right. Wow, we went okay. all the way there. <laughs> all right, because right, you're not you're not successful because we've been around. I mean, successful guys don't have. You're not on. They're not trolling. They're not no. doing. They're just not doing. They don't have time for that. No time for it because you're living your life. You're you're doing your thing. Right. Okay. All or right. You're worried about upward instead of downward or tearing other people down. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why there's other guys like in our industry that you know do, they don't have anything negative. I mean, they mm -hmm. just they're doing their thing. I'm doing my thing. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're just doing our thing. Mm -hmm. And we're successful at what we do, okay? Right. So if you're successful, okay, you're looking to be successful, right? And if you're not where you want to be right now, maybe you got to, that's part of it is looking at your attitude. Mm -hmm. So if your whole thing is, oh, this is full of crap. This mm -hmm. is, oh, you're just trying to, whatever. <laughs> you know, there's a, might be a reason why you're not successful, <laughs> okay? So I'm, I'm just saying. Might want to do a little check. Right. Mm -hmm. all right. Was that a bonus? That, that, was, a that free? was a bonus. That was some free coaching <laughs> there. Well, we say all the time, you know, we, we offer, you know, we talk about, you know, Success Academy and, and training we have and all that. Um, and with anything, and really with, with most anything to be successful, it's 20% of knowing the, the equations for what it is that you're working at. Mm. So like for running a successful, having a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable home service business, it's 20% of knowing the right equations, mm. the right systems, you know, right technology, techniques, mm. those kinds, 20% that. Mm. But it's 80% of your attitude and what you have up here. Period. We've seen it now. Between your ears. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. this is coming from 40 years of being in it. We've had multiple businesses. Of course, you know, our successful plumbing business. Um, you know, we're, we're out in age where we've seen it all, done it all, made all the mistakes. <laughs> you know, we've been to the circus. Mm -hmm. We've seen the dog and pony show. <laughs> okay. All right. All got right. Got the t-shirt. I got the t-shirt. Right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Pass it along. You know, whatever. <laughs> all right. We've all right. done, been there, done that. Okay. <laughs> all right. It is that 80% is what you have up here. That's right. Oh, so, mm -hmm. so even with this, like we, we deal with this, you know, flat rate pricing and mm -hmm. coming from the trades, there is this model, you know, of time and material and they get asked and right. whatever. Well, I got to do it. That's how you got to do it. You got to do it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's head trash. Mm -hmm. That's head trash. Okay. Yep. And, and so we got to over, overcome that. So all that to say, leave us a review. <laughs> <laughs> oh brother okay fine so you you pulling reeling me in reeling here me in. getting I'm back in here okay hey the final point on flat rate pricing <laughs> is this all right it's a common experience mm -hmm. okay we kind of were dancing all around that already okay, okay. it's mm -hmm. a we're a flat rate pricing world okay okay and a comfortable customer is okay customer. is a buying customer so we want to deal with them present them something that they're uncomfortable about pricing mm -hmm. which when it all comes out that's kind of, that's the most uncomfortable thing we'll get to the pricing and yep. so the, the most comfortable way to make them feel most comfortable about it is to deliver it to them in the way they're used to seeing mm -hmm. so when we go to walmart and i'll go buy a tv or you know or my pop tarts or whatever I'm buying, okay. Oh, well, I always use the example of the can of peas, but like you know, I don't eat peas. You don't eat peas at <laughs> so all. Not the pop tarts either. Yeah, I'm not I don't sure eat, where I that came even. from, but well, I know anyway. I like the uh, cinnamon sugar uh, the frosted <laughs> every once in a while. Right after your bean burrito. Right after my bean burrito <laughs> your on my cheat day when I just got a <laughs> hey <your> dessert. <laughs> hey, I'm not a monk. Okay, we try to watch what we eat <laughs> okay. and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. but at times you just gotta let go. That's okay? right. Okay, there's living. It's living to be done too. Right? Okay. Okay. And pop tarts are part of living. <laughs> well, anyways, when you go buy your pop tarts or the TV, or you know, mm -hmm. there's there's not a time material. There's not a breakdown. Right. Okay. Of the mm -hmm. cost mm -hmm. or anything right. like that. It's just it's just a price. Correct. It's just the price there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so that's what we're con that's what we're used to. It's right, a the common, common experience. And mm -hmm. so we want to deliver it in that manner. It mm -hmm. makes the customer feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't mean their head won't turn around or they may spit up. You know. Green, green pea soup or whatever, <laughs> like from The Exorcist, <laughs> become a day, you know, or cry or whatever. Because again, no one wakes up in the morning wants to call you. No one wants to spend money on you. So it's, you know, it's, it's that kind of a thing. Have you ever had a customer like kind of break down when um, you presented the price, yeah, right. right? Just like either cry or whatever. Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, we, let us we, know. we know the answer has to be yes. There's going to be tons seen, of seen it all. I mean, right. after 40 years, <laughs> I've been there, you know, we've had the one. Man, the one that hurts. I've seen guys cry. <laughs> <laughs> and and what and so here's what the experience is, is happening because you don't know what's going on in their life. Mm -hmm. 
okay? Right. They may have just had the, the car break down and they put out a big, you know, bunch of money on that. Mm-hmm. Um, some issue with the kids that they had to put money out. You know, like we got to get the braces. Going through and rough time, you rough, know, it's, it's yeah. tight. I just, I just got laid off, mm-hmm. okay? Or, you know, or we just got a pay cut or my, now my wife's not working or whatever. And that kind of, so now you're in a situation and it's not that they're necessarily crying at you, <laughs> mad at you. It's just, it's life, right. okay? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, that happens. All the way to the guy, you know, uh, you know. Throwing you out. But we're not going to talk about that. (laughs) What I want to talk about um, is Uber. I want to talk about Uber and how Uber is different, right? Well, yeah. What I like, yeah. It's a good example with with Uber with... uh, uh, well, compared I like, to a taxi. Compared to that's a good. Yeah, we right. talked about that before the, we started recording. I thought that was a good example. Because we use, yeah, we use Uber now. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so it's so cool. I mean, uh, how things have happened. Yeah, when we travel know, or something. We travel. It used yeah. to be a t- you know, travel and you had to take a taxi. Right. Well, you take, I remember the one time we were, we were in, you know, European, you know, the city or whatever. And so we're, we're really, there's a little bit of a language barrier. Mm-hmm. And we're in a taxi. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, it could be a million dollars a mile. I don't know. Cause <laughs> I don't really understand no the exchange or what, what not even <laughs> in the same, mm-hmm. you know, like that kind of a thing. And it's like, I don't know the city, so I don't know the, the quicker routes. Yeah, so he's taking the long way So he's taking a long way to where we're <laughs> headed, you know, and it's like, oh man, this is going to wind up going to cost us a lot. And it mm-hmm. probably did it. They, they milked it. That's well, time. That's time and material yeah. because that's how taxis would charge, mm-hmm. you know, is by the mile and the time and all that. And so, you know, they're taking the slow way. They don't, you know, they're making money. Okay. All right, and that's how they're charging. Where right. Uber c- came along, mm-hmm. one thing that's beautiful about Uber is not only just the the idea of it, where you know people can use their cars and make you know additional income, and and there be more you know more taxis available, more rides available, nice. but but it's flat rate priced. Flat rate, you know. So when I'm going from the airport to the hotel. You know, city to the hotel, mm-hmm. it's you know it's fourteen fourteen ninety or right. whatever. But if, if I, you wanted if you want to choose you know an upgrade car. I, Right. If I want to go, you know, executive, mm-hmm. a black, black car, then it's, you know, $40. Right. And you can choose. It's right there. But then you right. know. You I know. know what the price is. That's what I'm paying There's for. There's nothing extra. There's right. no extra. Other than if you want to tip at the end, but that's totally up to you. But you know the price going in. But when you step into a taxi, you don't know. You have no idea. You know it's printed somewhere or, you know, on the back that it's, you know, whatever, a, a mile typically, right. right? So you know that, but you don't know how many, how many miles that is. You don't know if he is going to go the long way, but with Uber, you know, even before you, you, you take the service, right? Decide to do it. You know right. the price. Right. Even if you know, you get caught in traffic now with the taxi, it's like, here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a million mm-hmm. dollars. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what your customer's thinking when you're tying material or even with the Uber, they, they know the busy times too. So it's already figured in. They delivered it to in a more comfortable way, a flat rate priced way. So that mm-hmm. same ride that was fourteen ninety that I mentioned during peak time, you know, maybe maybe twenty ninety. Right. You know, mm-hmm. it's because it's it's traffic. So they're paying it, it costs them more right. to operate and all that kind of stuff. So it's but but it's it's already figured in, but it's delivered to me in a flat rate price. Mm-hmm. It's not, well, here's where we start. And it may be this additional, 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 whatever, like this. this and that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Mm-hmm. That is, it's the same kind of setup. Yeah. It just flat rate. Just give, give the price. Yep. Okay. Yeah, makes it nice and, and the customer can decide. Mm-hmm. But that's a common experience. Okay. Okay. It's a flat rate pricing world. It is. So if you're get not. Get on board. Yeah. If you're not flat rate, man, it's time to get on board. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. So. I was going to hey, say stop being a hack, but. Stop. That too. Well, from you. Okay. Yeah, because you're nicer. Okay. That's win. <laughs> Which is so true. You know, just, in our business, you know, that's, see if you guys relate to this. You know, I, I was a, the, you know, I was a tough guy. Most guys were afraid of me or whatever, because mm-hmm. I was the field, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But really, they were more afraid of you, you know, because you would get on them, you know, what? whatever. <laughs> so, uh, it's uh, true. Well, they needed to every yep. now and then. Needed somebody to. Kick him in the mama to kick him in the butt. That's so, right. Anyway, all right, great all right. episode, babe. Yeah, that's right. Hey, mm-hmm. if you're looking, you know, you want to know more about the, the you know, the, these kinds of things. You know, we're just mm-hmm. talking about, or again, you're looking, um, you know, just take your business to the next level. Mm-hmm. All right, or, or just, um, you know, looking to get started. Whatever. Let's talk. Okay, uh, let's have a, a conversation. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, basically, we'll learn more about you. Okay, what's holding you back or in the way of achieving the success that you're looking for, and where you're at at the at that time, and then we'll point you in the right direction, okay? 
um, you know, maybe towards the academy and, you know, that kind of a thing. It, it, it may not, okay? But it's just bottom line, let's have a conversation, mm-hmm. all right? It's a simple conversation like that. There's no, no pushing, all right? Simply go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash call. All right. Slash call, C-A-L-L. And have a, you know, have a conversation with a success coach. Okay. All right. We're just here to help. All right. So there we go. All right. Good one. All right. Go flat rate pricing. Okay. Get it done. All right. Okay. Hey, next, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. You were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. All right.